This is Dr. Miller again, and this is photo assignment number two, and we'll go over this so that we understand it together. This is going to build on the first assignment. You remember in that first assignment we talked about formats or types of, of photography. So we had portrait, landscape, candid or documentary lifestyle type things, close up and action. We also had a category for RD, but I'm going to ask you to set that one aside for this week. Uh, the important thing here is that you're going to be using your own camera and you're going to go out and capture these types. So you're going to have two for each of these. You're going to have two portraits, two landscapes, two of the candid documentary lifestyle type, two close-ups, and two action. So uh, the problem we have in submitting these is that Blackboard doesn't do a really good job. If we were to all send up all the photographs for this entire class, we'd basically use up all the space available. So we don't want to do that. I'm going to create a Google Drive and that is where you're going to submit your photos and we will provide information on that. I'm working with Mr. Haney to make sure that's right and we'll get that set up for you in the next day or so and let you know through the announcements and email. Uh, right now you need to concentrate on the actual I'm going to spell that right. Actual Right now, I want you to concentrate on taking the best photographs you can with your camera. And then for each of the photographs, and then for each of the photographs, I want you to have a title. Tell me what type of camera you used and for many of you it's going to be the same camera throughout the course but there are some of you that have more than one camera and there may be a situation for example where you don't have your regular camera but it's a great photo opportunity so that would be okay too tell me that what you're calling it and then what camera you use and then I want a description of what you were trying to do so for example in this photograph that I took uh, a couple weeks ago, I called it Humming House Performance. That's this band that was performing called Humming House. And this is my camera, the Nikon D700. I actually have another Nikon, and then I also have a point-and-shoot camera. So I could have uh, done it with these others, but in this case I used my big camera, the 700. And then I'm going to tell you what I wanted to do. What I really wanted to do was to get the expression of how she was singing. And I wanted to make sure that I had... So, you know, you can kind of see just the way she's situated, that she's really into singing the song. Now, I also really like the fact that these glass windows back here are reflecting clouds. So those are the two things that I want to do, accomplish with this photo, and there it is. So this assignment is you're going to take photos, portrait, landscape, candid or documentary, close-up, and action. Two of each. You're going to tell me the title, you're going to tell me what camera you used, and you're going to have a little description of what you were trying to do. Now I've left all of this stuff down here from last week in this document just so you have it again to review. Remember on portraits the poser, the one that you are taking the photograph of should be aware of the camera. So that is why this is not a portrait. This is a candid photograph or an action photograph. In, in this case I could have used it either way. But you don't use the same photo for two different things. You want to have two photos for each of the categories. So remember portrait, you want to make the subject uh, very much the dominant part of the photograph. Landscape is just generally 
probably the easiest format. Uh, please, I get so many photographs of people that are just taking pictures in their backyard. That's not going to uh, be a great photograph every time. You can take some great photographs in your backyard. But please, go out and look at some different environments. And remember, landscapes are not just necessarily nature. Okay, and the candid documentary kind of things, this is just stuff that's happening. You can pose some of this to make it a type of photograph that you really want, but a lot of it is just going to be what's out there. The close-up, and I know some cameras will do close-up better than others, most of the point-and-shoot cameras have a little flower thing on them that's a macro and that will definitely let you get much much closer but we are talking about close and we're not just talking about pointing at something we want you to get in close now the difficulty might be when you get in too close with some cameras it's not going to be in focus well just don't get that close if that's the case but I think you can get in close enough to get a good representative of a close-up. Action means action. Something's happening out there. And it could be a sports thing. It could be kids playing. I get a lot of photos of kids playing and dogs running. Uh, try in this class to show me that you care enough to get out to some different environments. Now the first few assignments you're going to get full credit if you just follow the directions. So in this case, with this assignment, you turn in the 10 photographs, portrait, landscape, candid, uh, and close-up in action, two for each, and you're going to get the full amount of credit. I'm not going to be judging the quality of your photograph. I just want you to get out there and to understand these different types of formats. Now, if you totally blow it and don't sent in portraits well I'm, I'll probably mark you down for that but you can do this it's simple it's fun and these are the types of photographs that are most often going to be the ones you're taking over and over again so photo assignment two you're going to have plenty of time to do it get out when the weather's nice take photographs and enjoy